scenic flight with Sundays. Jumped on this plane with this young pilot. He gave us some uh, parachutes. No, they were just just the PDFs. And there's Reg taking a little video of me leaving. Uh, young bloke. I was wondering whether he was too young, but he was great. An excellent pilot. Here we are taking off on the airport in the air before you knew it. Look down at some of the uh, little planes. Here I am. Reg took this photo of me flying. And um, lots of little planes, flight planes, etc. Really very scenic, just straight away as soon as we left with large houses along the runway. Before we knew it, we were over the water and uh, there's little bays, etc. Really all around us. Boats were anchored on moorings. Uh, sh this is um, Shoot Peninsula, Shoot Harbour, and lots of little islands and little atolls that was looking south. Here we are looking we're north into the sun. Some of these islands had no beaches and some had lots of beaches. That's looking down towards Hamilton Island which is quite famous now. This is the uh, large wet Sunday island which we crossed and um, got a little bit bumpy but it was, wasn't too bad. A very spectacular beach we came to. Uh, the ultimate area really was this long beach uh, with an amazing inlet which I'd love to go up in my little kakariki. One of my pathfinders would suit this place down to the ground. Uh, it was very impressive from the air looking down at all the colours and it really is special, I must admit. Lion White Sandy Beach. Um, yeah, boats are anchored along the beach. Absolutely spectacular. And we kept going and uh, it was over an hour flight. I really enjoyed it, every second of it. Lots of little islands beneath us. All kinds of shapes in all kinds of areas and we just kept flying out passing some very interesting tidal areas uh, some islands with sand halfway around the island it's quite beautiful another plane came with us so we flew alongside the plane going out together we spotted some of these whales uh, they're very beautiful to see from the air coming to the surface We saw two pods of whales, uh, they, they were humpback. Here we are coming across the very beginnings of Great Barrier Reef, which is probably around about 20 mile out, I'm not sure. But instantly I can see why people like to fly over the reef because there's all these little swimming pools and reefs and atolls and it is spectacular, the colors and uh, something else. It's a kind of a dream world really. I have never seen anything like this from the air looking into the water before and this goes on for miles we approached this very famous area uh, the um, the reef is called Hart Reef and I'll try and point it out to you as we as he dips the wing and we fly past it we actually flew past it twice but here is a long channel and this long deep channel came to the reef and I just thought kakariki I thought Pathfinder, I couldn't help but think sailing into these areas. But the reef is absolutely spectacular, full of fish, but apparently with the last huge cyclone they had, it did help destroy a lot of the reef. And uh, they're trying to make it recover by seeding uh, and trying to protect the reef in every which way possible. And there is Hart Reef, you can see the ring just going over it now. Heart Reef. Looking up the left side of the plane, we came back along and he showed the passengers on the other side of the plane Heart Reef again. And there's Heart Reef there. It's a quite a famous, iconic reef. It goes on for miles and it was very impressive indeed. We crossed 
came back to the islands, beaches, boats were anchored. This is the largest swimming pool apparently in Australia. That's at Hurley Island and here we are on our way back. This is pointing out PO cruises, looking way north into the sun. Lots more islands. I think there's 70 odd islands in the Whit Sundays looking down at the PO cruises. And here is Ely Beach. Looking back to where we're coming to land once again. Subtropical terrain. The uh, landscape's quite spectacular. Every which way you look, really. Coming into land, quite a steep angle, I thought, but that's what they do. Touchdown, the little squeak of the wheel. It's a beautiful uh, place to hang out just to watch the planes come and go. Uh, people buy houses along the runway. Inside the houses they've got their lounges with their their planes looking down to the hangar inside the house itself. Here we are coming back to the base. Really uh, was a beautiful flight. No question about that. And here is one of the houses with one of the hangars for sale. And the, the airport, best way to see the whole area, sure is.